Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials. Uh, they're all green, baby, in a monster way. You get the Dow right now trading up uh, 351. NASDAQ's up 427. S&Ps are up 90. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ, folks, of 3.7%. Inside the S&P, 2.2. And the Dow Industrials, 1.2. Gold, gold contract caught the bid up $16.80, $17.52 an ounce. You got silver up 45 cents, $18.98 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.79, $97.76 a barrel. And notes and bonds, check it out, man. This is pretty amazing. So the Fed went up uh, three quarters of a percent. The bottom line, market's shaking off everything, man. I mean, the market, market wants higher price. And the thing that is amazing, okay, so you, got, you have the Fed funds rate. I'll talk about this as soon as we start the program. You have the Fed's funds rate, but guess what? what you know they went up 75 uh basis points three quarters of a point percent okay that being said you have the 10-year ready to, to break a top side and do an abc structure up which is going to bring the 10-year um down dramatically okay so the divergence is pretty amazing 2.72 and you gotta remember something the fed only runs the fed bank rate that's when we talk about 2.7 2.5 that's what it's at right now that's bank to bank Bottom line, the 10-year, they're buying it hand over fist. King Dollar. King Dollar gave it up. Thank God for small and big miracles. King, King Dollar, you can see the correlation is so direct. King Dollar is down 693 ticks, 106, 501. Got under the benchmark once again. That's saying the market's going to have more breathing room. We'll see whether it's going to stay under that. It's been teetering back and forth. You stay under that, baby. And if we actually go down another 600 points tomorrow, seven, and you have that wide price spread, then you are talking a $101, and you will see a real expansion in the market will blow some minds. The euro is at 101, the yen is at uh, 130, where are you, yen? 136, and the British pound is out here uh, trading at uh, 121. We get over and we take a look at the S&P. Uh, bottom line is that you uh, going higher, uh, bottom line, we'll see whether we're going to get an ABC structure up. I don't think we're going to, because I don't think we'll get the volume, but you never know, man. I mean, we need volume of 72 million to get it. Uh, if you get it, it's a, it's a big ABC structure up. We did get an ABC structure intraday inside the uh, NQs in Bay. The bottom line, it hit it, and it was a monster one. Uh, the Qs, the Qs, uh, they can build a little more force and they can have a nice ABC up too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.